Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we're going to find the derivative of a function using the definition of the derivative. So first, we begin with the definition itself. Suppose y equals f of x is a function of x, and we would like to know the slope of the tangent line to the curve at the point where y equals, uh, where uh, at, a, at a certain x value, <clears throat> then the way we do this is we find the slope of a secant line at a nearby uh, x value, let's say it's called x plus h, where we think of h as being very small. And then if we were to connect these two dots, uh, the slope of that secant line would be the rise over the run. Uh, the rise would be this new point has a y coordinate of f of x plus h, and then minus f of x divided by the run is from x to x plus h. That run is h. So that's the slope of the secant line. Then the main point of finding the slope of the tangent line, in, find, in finding the slope of the tangent line, is that we can use the slope of the secant line with ever diminishing values of h to obtain the slope of the tangent line. So the slope of the tangent line is the limit as h approaches zero of the slope of the secant line. And the slope of the tangent line that's given by what's called f prime of x, the derivative of f of x. And that's equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. This is the difference quotient, and it simply a rise over run uh, expression. <coughs> so this is the definition of the derivative. And I'll do two examples. Uh, we'll start with uh, a quadratic polynomial f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. Um, <clears throat> this is a parabola. The graph looks uh, something like this. And if we find the derivative, that will give us a formula for the slope of the tangent line to this parabola at any point. So in order to figure that out, we need to know what f of x plus h is. So in order to figure out f of x plus h, we have to replace the x's in this formula with the quantity x plus h. So we get x plus h quantity squared minus 4 times x plus h plus 1. And expanding this out, it's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h plus 1. So then the derivative is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which is all this, x squared minus 2xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h plus 1. That's f of x plus h minus f of x which is the original function, x squared minus 4x plus 1, divided by h. Uh, this limit is inherently going to have the 0 over 0 uh, indeterminate form. You can see the division by 0 here immediately. The numerator will also be 0 if you plug in h equals 0. And so we're going to have to do something to cancel this h. So some algebra suggests itself immediately, and that would be to subtract the polynomials. And if you look at these three terms, then you'll see that those three terms are among these six. Here's the x squared, here's the negative 4x, and here's the plus 1. So when we subtract, uh, those terms will all disappear. The x squared minus the x squared will be 0. The negative 4x minus the negative 4x will be 0 and the 1 minus 1 will be 0. So we will be left with three terms only in the numerator, and they are negative 2xh 
plus h squared minus uh, minus 4h. And I see here that I don't know why I put a minus there. That should have been x squared plus 2xh. So that is a plus 2xh there. So 2xh plus h squared minus 4h. And now we have three terms that each have an h, so we can factor an h and then cancel it with the h in the denominator. So the limit as h approaches 0, factor the h in the numerator, left with 2x plus h minus 4 divided by h, cancel the h, and we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h minus 4. And now we simply ca uh, calculate this limit by plugging in h equals 0 until so we get 2x minus 4. This is the derivative, 2x minus 4 is the derivative function of x squared minus 4x plus 1. And this function tells us the slope of the tangent line to the parabola uh, at any point. So for example, if we pick the point where x equals 4, then if we plug 4 into the function, the y value is 16 minus 16 plus 1. The y value is 1, so that's the point 4 comma 1. At that point, there is a tangent line. According to this formula, the slope of that tangent line would be f prime of 4, which would be 8 minus 4, which is uh, 4. So the slope of this tangent line would be f prime of the x value, which was 4, and that would be 2 times 4 minus 4, and that is 4. So that's the slope of the tangent line. <coughs> uh, let's look at another, another example. This time we'll do a different type of function, uh, a square root function. Let's say we want, uh, suppose f of x is the square root of 3x plus 4. Let's find f prime of x. So in this case, this square root function, the graph looks something like this, where this height is actually 2, and this number is negative 4 thirds the x-axis. <clears throat> so let's see if we can find a, a formula for the slope of this uh, square root curve, which is really just the top half of a sideways parabola. Uh, or at least part of a sideways parabola. So um, the derivative f prime of x is equal to was erased, so let's put it back. The limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And in this case, f of x plus h is the square root of 3 times, replace the x with x plus h, 3 times x plus h plus 4. And this is the square root of, this turns into 3x plus 3h. Four. So that's f of x plus h. So then continuing here, our, our derivative is the limit as h approaches 0 of the square root of 3x plus 3h plus 4 minus the square root of 3x plus 4 divided by h. So this limit will give us f prime of x. <coughs> And again, this is going to be 0 over 0. Uh, so we'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate radical. That's the technique to use here. So first, I'm just writing all this down again. And now we'll multiply by the conjugate radical. conjugate radical has a plus here in between the two terms. So it's the square root of 
3x plus 3h plus 4 plus the square root of 3x plus 4 divided by h. No, I'm sorry. You have to divide by the same thing. We're multiplying by 1, of course. The divided by h was already right there. Uh, we're multiplying by the conjugate radical over itself. We're multiplying by the number 1. So as not to change the value of the expression, just the form. And the form changes in such a way as to uh, eliminate the radical symbols in the numerator. So the denominator is going to be h times this uh, conjugate radical, the square root of 3x plus 3h plus 4, plus the square root of 3x plus 4. And in the numerator, when you multiply the conjugate radicals, the square root of a minus the square root of b times the square root of a plus the square root of b, that becomes a minus b, using the difference of two squares for me. So we get 3x plus 3h plus 4 minus 3x plus 4. Square root of a minus square root of b times square root of a plus square root of b gives me a minus b. And that simplifies nicely. This numerator, this difference simplifies. The 3x minus 3x is 0, and the 4 minus 4 is 0. So all we're left with is 3h in the numerator. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 3h in the numerator and then h times the conjugate radical in the denominator. The h is canceled, and then you can take the limit. Uh, canceling these h's, we will no longer have 0 over 0. When you plug in 0 for h, which is just right here in the denominator, you end up with 3 in the numerator, and the square root of 3x plus 4 plus the square root of the same thing, 3x plus 4, and this could be apple plus apple is 2 apples, 3 divided by 2 times the square root of 3x plus 4, so that is the derivative. 3 divided by 2 times the square root of 3x plus 4. So back to our picture here, if we plug in x equals 7, say, then the height of the curve, plugging in 7, gives us excuse me. The height of the curve, plugging in 7, gives us 25, and then square root of 25 is 5. So this is the point 7 comma 5, scales a little off there. And then the slope of the tangent line at this point, the slope of the tangent line would be f prime of 5, which we can plug 5 into that uh, formula there for f prime. And we again get 25 under the radical, so this is 3 over 10. So the slope of that line is 3 tenths. 